Good morning, everyone. How are we all doing today? Good. 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 Glad to hear it. We're Group 6, and our company is Black Rocks Brewery. My name is Joey Sinicola. I'm Justin Wink. I'm Jason Coulter. Michael Taylor. Colin Bryan. All right, so today we're going to be talking about a couple different things. First of all, I'm going to start out by telling us, telling you guys a little bit about us as a company. Jason over there, he's going to be talking about our situational analysis and our current situation of our company. Justin will be talking about our strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats as a company. Michael will be talking about our digital marketing objectives, and Colin will be wrapping us up with our target audience and segmentation strategy. So to start out, a little bit about us. Our company was founded in 2010 by David over here and Andy. Our company is an Anna Brewery, which is a brewery that produces less than 1,500 barrels of beer each year. One of the core values of Black Rocks is local supporting local. We take initiative in this by having food trucks parked out back, which creates a sort of uniqueness at Black Rocks to provide to our customers. A couple different food trucks come, uh, such as Smelted Pizza, Burger Bus, and um, DNA Los Tacos. Now moving on, talk about a little bit of, of our events. Events we offer, such as Trivia Night every single Monday. I personally, not the greatest at trivia, but it's a fun thing to come out and do with your friends. Additionally, we offer Open Mic Night weekly on Wednesdays, so you can come out and do a little karaoke. We also have a live performance music. We do that about twice a month. So that's another fun thing we like to do with local music enthusiasts. And now moving on to our goods. Our goods is actually a little sub company that Black Rocks offers. There's a little section in the front of the brewery where we sell our hats, sweatshirts, t-shirts, and sweatpants, and beer koozies, and a couple extra things that Justin will touch upon later. Now moving on to our situational analysis provided by Jason. So at Black Rocks, um, our target demographic is any gender, any race, uh, between the ages of about 25 and 55. Um, for the most part, it's local residents, and they primarily hit tourists when it's summertime. Um, their slow season is in the winter, obviously. Um, so they kind of kind of have to go more towards the aspect of getting the local residents to market. Um, and then psychographic, uh, they primarily go towards the people who are fit, outdoorsy, adventurous, like like to do have, and go like do fun things. Um, and then macro environment factors that have affected them recently are COVID um, a couple years ago. They had to deal with the cancel shortage. Um, and most of the cans went to the bigger companies like Bud Light or Bud Light because they obviously make more revenue. And then their current financial situation is good on every aspect except one. They spend zero dollars in marketing and they'll maybe go for an occasional poster every once in a while. Um, and then the problem areas, as we see here, Kevin, can you read this? No. No. So that's that's a picture of their website. And they decided it was a bright idea to put dark gray text on a black background. Um, so that is a big problem area for them. And then obviously their social media presence. They have 25,000 followers, but they only get between 150 and like 450 likes. So, And now Justin will talk about the SWOT analysis. Now on to the SWOT analysis, we're going to start with strengths, which are internal. Starting off with location, Black Rocks is in Marchand, Michigan, the biggest city in the UP, and they're on 3rd Street with a lot of companies and shops. And with that, those companies and shops are going to produce a lot of foot traffic and a lot of activity going on in the street. And another strength that Black Rocks has is their atmosphere. By having a good vibe all around the building, they pull in those foot traffickers into the building by unique furniture inside and outside of the building. We also have a lot of players in the building that people can have a beer and enjoy around the beer. And then they do have unique merchandise, like Joey mentioned. They have shirts, shorts, pants, hats, even socks. And they also have tiny little axes with the Black Rocks logo on it. And with that logo, it helps spread awareness around all of town, all 
Marquette and all of the upper peninsula, the native bridge, I like that. Now on to weaknesses, their biggest weaknesses, which are internal, is that they only sell beer. Though they have 20 different kinds of beer, they don't have any seltzers or whiskey or anything else like that. So if anybody prefers those drinks compared to beer, Black Rocks might not be the spot for that. And then they have no defined marketing budget. If you look at their website, like Jason mentioned, there's not much effort put into it, and it's all free. So if they were to implement some investments into the website, that would definitely help them grow in the future. And then if you look at Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, you're not going to see any advertisements. So they could definitely do that in the future as well. And then Steve is their, their only marketer. We interviewed him a couple weeks ago, and he does most of the marketing. So if they were to implement a team of two to three people, not only would that take off a lot of work off his plate, but it would create more quality work for the business and more ideas for marketing strategies in the future. Now on to opportunities. One of the biggest opportunities is that they could invest in their social media, like the website, they can definitely use some improvement that could help in the future. And then if you look right here, this is their main website, and that's their merchandise page. It's two different websites, so something they could do is definitely combine that into one, and it would make it more easy for everybody to navigate for one company on one website. And then another opportunity is that they could sell more than just beer. Like I mentioned, they could sell whiskey, seltzers, other cocktails, even go as far as to sell appetizers or entrees to keep people indoors during their visit. And for threats, we have local competition. You got the Ordoc, you got Tripta, you got Third Base Bar, and lots of other places on Third Street. And Ordoc is very similar to them aesthetically, so Black Rocks works very hard to differentiate themselves from them. And then, of course, rising costs. This affects every business. Inflation needs to be taken account of and measured just so your day-to-day -day purchases and your month-to-month -month purchases are done well. And then the last threat is underage drinking. If you're at MNU, we have a lot of people that like to drink under the age of 21. And something Black Rocks team members need to do is make sure they are not being pulled with fake IDs or letting people sneak into the bar under their watch. And if they, if they let this happen, they could face serious fines and it could damage their reputation as a company. Now on to Michael with marketing objectives. Yeah, so for our marketing objectives, uh, our group came up with four primary goals. The first one uh, is to develop brand loyalty. The second, promote new and upcoming products. The third is to increase revenue throughout the changing seasons, with the uh, slower seasons being winter and spring. Our fourth goal was to expand the marketing campaign uh, past the orders of uh, Michigan and into the Midwest a little bit more. So for our first marketing objective, is to develop a larger presence on social media. They have almost 25,000 followers, which makes it uh, one of the most popular, uh, most followed uh, companies up here in Marquette. And uh, with this following, they would be able to uh, just develop more customer interactions on social media. And with this, they'd be able to gather information about their customers and uh, generate more feedback for the company, which in turn would allow them to uh, provide a better overall experience for the customers. So our second objective was content creation. Um, over here you got their YouTube page, which uh, they got solid two videos right there. And the last one they posted two years ago, and uh, their first one was nine years ago. So uh, what we plan to do for this is it would be something kind of like what Red Bull does with short videos that uh, kind of would hit that target audience of people who like being outdoors. So these short videos kind of that include hunting, fishing, mountain biking, uh, mountain climbing, hiking, stuff like that. And uh, in turn, this would give customers a good idea of, uh, of Black Rock's uh, brand identity and uh, their image of the company. So our third objective is a revamp of the company website, as we mentioned. Uh, so with that, like the first thing that we suggest is uh, that they could put money into it and have it professionally developed. Along going with this, uh, going along with this, uh, with their Black Rocks goods, I think that they could just combine it into one website. Because if you do want to buy uh, merchandise from them, it takes you to that website that's entirely different from Black Rocks Brewery. So you just eliminate that process uh, all in one. And then for uh, our fourth and 
final objective was to create a direct channel to social media. So if you want to get on their social media or want to find it, you have to look it up or go, or go to their website. So to make this simpler for customers, uh, we recommend putting a QR code on the back of some of their cans. And then this in turn would take you to their website and uh, from there to their social media. And then with their website, we would like to offer a, uh, a bi-weekly newsletter to customers that would inform them about the upcoming changes at uh, beers, upcoming activities with live events, and um, like what food trucks will be there. And then uh, with this newsletter, I think that they should also offer some type of reward system for uh, continuing customers. And then continuing on, we have Colin. So for our primary and secondary audience, our primary audience is gonna be avid craft beer enthusiasts as well as brewery goers. There's a whole group of community out there that likes to um, vacation, tour around, and visit breweries as well as drink craft beer. Um, these are the people that like to know where their products are coming from, the ingredients in them, the story behind them, and the brand. Um, they simply enjoy beer for more than just the, just the effects. They like the flavor and they like the story. These individuals are also likely to support local and small businesses while repeat, repeat buying, um, seeing new flavors that are advertised, and then circling back to their favorites periodically. This group just loves the art of brewing beer, the techniques, and the time, and the hard work that goes into making each beer. Our secondary audience is gonna be a pretty broad group. It's gonna be pretty much the beer drinking community um, segmented as uh, Michigan. Wild Brewery is located in Marquette. They have locations that, of their uh, hands pretty much all across Michigan, unless you're in the thumb, um, but also into northern Wisconsin. So pretty much broad as you can get as well in terms of across Michigan. With that being said, 